started. That was easy. Get started. That was easy. Enemies approaching. Here I come. Here, here. Here I come. Right there. Here I come. That is easy. Enemies approaching. Here I come. That was easy. What am I supposed to do? I am like stuck. This is the story of a terrible demon who lived in the forest. Once upon a time, there were two brothers who were slaves to a greedy demon. The demon forced them to do hard, grueling work. It could have used its magic to easily finish the work, but the demon enjoyed making the brothers suffer. One day, 
The brothers tried to make their escape, but the demon chased them down. The demon said, Hmm, idiots. Did you think you could run away? The poor brothers were caught and received terrible punishments. The demon said, That's it! Time for a whipping! Don't try to run away again, or I'll carve out your eyeballs! The brothers knew they would be killed one day. And after talking it over, they decided they would kill the demon first. <coughs> one day, the brothers stole one of the demon's most cherished gemstones and ran away with it. They planned to use it as bait to lure the demon to the well, then push him into it and kill him. But the demon didn't care about the gemstone at all, and the brothers were captured again. The demon said, Idiots! Did you think you could run away again? The poor brothers received a terrible punishment. The forest trembled as the demon's laughter echoed through the night. And so ends this story of a terrible demon who lived in the forest. Finish selling refreshments to other children. Luca returns with a beaming smile on her face. I suppose it's necessary to keep up appearances. Good day to you, Madame Dronia. I came to see your puppet show. Your performance <laughs> was splendid. You're not here to molest me again, are you? Food her habit and pressed her. to any god or. Why such talk in public will only lead to misunderstanding? As a servant of God. And beholden to my vow of chastity. Chastity, huh? Whatever you say. <gasps> How rude. I'll have you know, I was working the fields this morning for the good Lord. And as I was returning, I happened to overhear that you had opened a theater. Ah, uh, yes. I got a lot of potatoes today. Please stop by for a meal. I'll cook up some boiled potato rolls. You like the potatoes, don't you? Luca likes potatoes, not me. Hey, you're gonna be doing the show all the time. Little boy older than Luca, don't. But not that much older, right up to uh, Anya. Hey. Hey! Hey, lady! Yes, little boy, we'll be performing shows every so often while we're in town. I hope you'll attend again. The final game, Johnny is attended. The boy suddenly becomes shy. Wow. Uh, then I'll come see it again. But next time, I think you should tell a happier story. Because today sucked. The, the story didn't suck. It was a great story. Lady Wit. I mean, Madame Jonia made it up herself. She did. She did. Take it back. What are you getting mad for? Just because it sucked doesn't mean it wasn't interesting. The boy suddenly shot a side by a sword. Ouch! Hey, you! What are you doing here? He runs over to the, to the little boy and helps him to his feet. What? We're not doing anything. Another one's coming. Marietta, get this kid out of here. Yes, that seems wise. All right, let's go, Fritz. Madame Dronia, <laughs> please be careful. Kyle and Frank have a reputation for being difficult to deal with. I see. Luca, check on the well. Y yes, ma'am. Hey, I'm talking to you. What are you doing here? 
Don't act like you don't know the rules. No one's allowed near the well of Kalaza. I apologize. Ever since we arrived in this town, we've just been focused on entertaining the children. That being said, we've already been given permission to perform here. What? From who? I have received permission from Acting Governor Patrone. Is that so? Then show us your permit, we'll be on our way. Permit? I never considered the need for a permit. And it's so obvious, too. What was I thinking? No permit, huh? That seems pretty suspicious. Why? We Look. might have an actual witch on our head. Let's go. You're coming with us. One way or another, you're gonna tell us who you are. It is out to apprehend Dronia. Hey, don't touch me. Hey, I haven't even touched you yet. Huh? Whoa, check out her leg. <laughs> What's up with that? Soldier grabbed on grabbed by her prosthetic leg and starts shaking on it. <laughs> Is that a wooden leg? What are you, some kind of scarecrow? How pathetic! <laughs> Maybe we should do a cavity search. Find out if the rest of hers made of wood too. Whoa, not here. The crowd had begun to gather on Dronia and the soldier. Huh? Oh. On your feet, woman. You're coming with us. Very well. Let's go to hell together. Raise her hand and her eyes glow in airy crimson. Huh? What are you doing with your hand? Oh. <laughs> Mikhail and Frank, was it? If I must accompany you, so be it. But not before you patrol the city for seven days and nights without food or sleep. Like loyal little soldiers. Y yes. We better get started on our patrol. Seven days and seven nights, huh? This is gonna be rough. With the commotion calm, the crowds of first, so I'm shaking their heads. I let my anger get the best of me and used my glamour in public. Still. It worked like a charm on those soldiers. I can glamour anyone into doing my bidding by manipulating the latent mana that surrounds them. Only other witches have been able to resist it, but it has never failed to work on a normal human. I wonder, do those soldiers also know about the underground labyrinth? I need to be more careful. My glamour is powerful, but I can't become dependent on it. Madame Dronia! Madame Dronia! Crafty's back! I'm gonna flip through the pages of the Tech Out the Munchroom. Crafty, I think you might be taking this a little too seriously. You don't need to get so worked up over the twists and turns down there. If you're at a crossroads and you don't know which path to take, just pave your own path. If a wall is low enough, go over it. If it's in the way, destroy it. Your mission is simply to conquer the labyrinth. How you complete your mission is irrelevant. Do whatever you must to produce results. Let's see. Now that we've mapped more of the labyrinth, we must soon devise a serious plan for conquering it. The underground labyrinth is really this vast? A sprawling labyrinth tucked beneath that web. <laughs> of course! I can't rely on Tracty alone. I need to do my part to produce results, too. I just heard you doing your naughty laugh, Madame Dronia. You're thinking about doing something bad. Luca. I wrote down a list of things I want you to buy for me tomorrow. Huh? What's all this stuff? What are you going to use it for? You'll find out soon enough. Also, Trapty, I'd like you to bring me ten units of high-quality saltpeter. If my hypothesis is correct, this town is not what it seems. Just wait. 
I expose your true nature. Oh, but before that, hold on, Tracty. The producer Quill begin to write something for Tracty. There. Now you can destroy walls. Remember, do whatever you must to produce results. <laughs> Tracty skill wall destroy. Now you can destroy a wall with the labyrinth question. Uh, she grant those requests. Very progress, you'll be able to make more requests. Where the hell am I going back here? Oh, 